channel IT Simplified. In today's quick video on Azure, I'll show you how to delete and detach your data disk from your VM running on Azure site. The reason I'm making this video because the one that I made a year ago, the steps have changed and I don't think so Microsoft has uh, updated their documentation. And one of the customer, they were trying to follow the steps that I did on that video, but uh, some of the options were missing. So I just came over here. So as you can see, I'm on the server with the name VBE and under disk, I have two. I have an OS disk and I have a data disk with the name D1. It is four gig. Now I want to delete this disk. Now previously when you come under disk, there was an option of edit, but as you can see, there's no option of edit. But if you move the cursor all the way on the right side, you can see that there is a cross button, right? Uh, not very descriptive, but if you click on this, you know, uh, there is a delete option. So let me just go and click on delete and click on the save button so it's saying that uh, it's updating the mach uh, virtual machine so let me just give it a moment so the virtual machine was updated but what i want to do is i just want to go and uh, check by going under the resource group so this machine is under the resource group with an mvrg and my data disk was under the same resource group so i'm going to go under that and see if that data disk was deleted. So let me just go and uh, scroll. You can see it is still there. So I think that button is for detaching, even though it says delete, I think Microsoft has to work on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight this and uh, and then delete this, right? And say yes. So now it is deleting the disks and we'll go and check after that is done by going into the resource group. So I'll just give it a moment. Okay, so it says that uh, data disk was deleted successfully. I'm going to refresh. And I need to do it a couple of times. Okay. I still see the data disk. Let me just, I think it needs to be refreshed a couple of times. Yeah, actually now you see, I don't see the data disk. I only see the operating system. So with this, we have successfully deleted our data disk. So in case you are trying to follow my previous video, I will say that uh, things have changed on the portal side and uh, Microsoft, I believe, will do the update of the documentation. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.